Holistic Vitality Energy Healing. www.holistic-vitality.com I'm Jess and this is my first session um, doing shamanic healing. Now the Reiki shamanic, yeah. Yes, yes. And it was, it was really, really cool. I think it was just so different than what I unfortunately went in expecting it uh -huh. to be and I tried to kind of release all of the expectations and I felt like the, for the first um, I don't know how long it had been but it felt like for the first couple of I think it was not until you went past the throat chakra that, yeah. I, that I felt like you were let, able to let go of that control yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I was like for the first two I was like Felt like I was on the verge of tears because I wasn't able to like get what you wanted out of it. You want to just get to that mental state of yeah. feeling just completely free and able to like navigate my own consciousness without having my brain, you know, trying to control me back. Yeah, pulling me back to earth, kind of. And so I think that once it, like, I think the heart chakra was where I finally felt like I was. It almost felt like I was um on the verge of like falling asleep uh -huh. to where I was seeing like I was just able to be free and I was able to visualize a lot more but not trying to mm -hmm. which I feel like I was trying to for the first few few yeah um and I feel like that was the first time that like I almost like released doubt that it would work or you know yeah. that things would happen or that things could be healed and worked through um yeah, it was amazing. I, and I, I, it was weird because the whole time I felt like I was kind of seeing the colors that that I like were that we were kind of going into before yeah. we would go into them. So when you were on the throat chakra, I was just seeing bright, bright green. Yeah. Um, and then you moved into the heart, and that's when I finally felt like I just kind of became like overwhelmed with emotions and like felt energies around me and felt like I connected with you know who you needed to yeah yeah um and then when you were on my um when we were forgiving everyone yeah which chakra was that sacral the sacral yeah so in the stomach yes yeah. the stomach yeah um even before you mentioned like the sending the pink cloud of like love and forgiveness I just got this flash of just like this beautiful pink sunset and yeah. I like it made me like start to cry because it was just so beautiful and I felt like such a release of um just emotion and, and I'm such a release of like bitterness and like hanging on to some of those things and yeah. it was just it, it was so weird because then when you would say like okay picture a pink light I was like oh my gosh like I, I that, did that. that was yeah it was just <laughs> this beautiful like flash of this Visualization, visualization of like a pink sunset that was so beautiful and I just like I felt I was just overcome with peace and acceptance and love yeah, yeah. So it was amazing and I know you said you had trouble in the um higher chakras yeah but do you think you were able to connect with your mom I know that was something that you I think wanted. That, that happened for me during the heart chakra cool um I think that like in the beginning I was like I did, I did see some figures, and they weren't like completely bright. I, none of the colors were very like mm -hmm. super bright for me. It yeah. was all kind of like dull sens sensation and dull yeah. vision, and um, I could sense things, but I wasn't like seeing these amazing like beautiful colors. And when um, the very beginning, like I did see all of these like floating white, you know dull white but floating white um kind of just like beings I guess just like uh -huh. floating in and out of my vision and yeah. almost like they were like checking in on me and like they like I would be somewhere else with like being guided by you right and then I would see like one come into my vision and then the one that did like um, it made me stop breathing because it like I just saw my mom's face really clearly wow that's was awesome. really cool um there's a tissue. Thanks. Um, yeah. And do you think she gave you any messages or told you anything or sh or sensations 
Um, sorry. No, you're okay. Um, when you were talking about being in the garden, I like just like had, had like this vision of this really awesome garden, and um, like she came in and and sat with me for a little bit and just like held my hand and we just kind of enjoyed that. Yeah, that moment, moment together, yeah. That's cool. I'm sure she loved that. Yeah. Just as much as you did. Yeah, it was amazing. And it wasn't really any messages because I, I don't know if there's, I mean, I'm sure that there would be a long list of, you know, questions that I would have about um, just every day yeah. kind of things and like how to be a good wife or a good mother um, but there's really nothing that's like this overwhelming, um, kind of like looming question. It was just kind of the sensation of yeah, presence. just like wanting yeah. to feel her yeah. again. And do you think you were able to get rid of um, any negative or toxic emotions? Um, yeah, I think that I, like, even though I was never, like, abandoned in the, like, typical sense of how you picture somebody being, like, having abandonment, I think, like, strangely, I have some abandonment issues just with, like, her dying, <laughs> even though she hasn't no control over that yeah. and um and then subsequently like my dad getting married really really soon after she had died and kind of I was 18 when he remarried and kind of like pushed me out of the house and that's fine that's the age most people are when they go out of the house anyway yeah. but it was so raw yeah it was just like I wasn't I wasn't like all the way ready yeah I don't think when it happened, and so I think that I just kind of feel he's an amazing father and man, and I love him, and I'm thankful that I had, you know, one amazing parent that is so with me, and yeah. Um, but I do feel like I definitely harbored something in that way of just feeling like I, I mean, I, I, you know, I've just my whole childhood not being able to be a kid. Because you had that, yeah, the cancer looming over your head right. with your mom. Yeah, and then going into like young adulthood and feeling like I was once again forced to like grow up kind of quickly and figure yeah. out my own stuff, even though I probably would have probably done taken it. a little bit longer to do that if I had the option to redo it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, what about the inner child? How did you feel about that one? Um, I actually like visualize my husband the most during that one, yeah. And just the ways that we've just hurt each other over the years and continue to hurt each other day to day life, just because we're both flawed and carry around all this junk with us all the time, and each have that little inner child that's like screaming out for things that we still need and that haven't attention. gotten. And um, just visual, like he was just so clear in my mind for that and picturing him as a little kid which I <laughs> <laughs> and so um just meaningful to me and being able to like connect his um energy to that yeah and, and even just to, to be able to see the things that like still drive me crazy about him um being able to connect that to like a inner child in him that, that is just needs that just to work sing. yeah and just because we all grow up and have these uh, like I was just picturing like adult bodies but that's still like a this kid. little kid inside and just because we look a certain age we still are all just these like little elementary kids that need, type feeling that yeah. need that love yeah. that need that attention and nurturance yeah. daily. and that are reacting when they react negatively out of that same place mm -hmm. and it's not because they want to necessarily hurt it's just that they right do on accident i guess 
Now, what about the root chakra? Because I we know we discussed obviously mm-hmm. that probably being a sensitive area for you. Yeah. Um, and then connecting to Mother Earth. What do you think that was for you? Um, I feel like it was just like that was the point in the whole the whole session that was just the most connective, and I just had this feeling of whole wholeness and oneness, and like I just it made me like want to go outside and like lay in the grass and just look at the sky, and I felt just kind of like everything had come full circle from when the, the beginning of the session and just I don't know kind of just really appreciating like having roots somewhere and yeah. allowing myself to like I'd be be okay with the fact that I am a little restless right now but that I do like love home and, and roots and family and I know that that's what I want and I can't wait to have it actually and that I know that that will come in when it's supposed to and it was so weird too during the when I was visualizing myself in the mirror every time it was myself at the stage of life where like my mom had just been diagnosed and not not even on purpose but it was just like this little 10 or 11 year old me who was like this little chubby kid and I like pictured the sweater I was wearing even and I remember I mean I did, I don't remember that I remembered that sweater until right. today. It was just this weird, like, velvet, black and lime green sweater. And I just, like, remember what haircut I had and my braces and my, like, glasses. And yeah. and just talking to that stage of life, me, yeah. and, and extending her love and acceptance and forgiveness when most of my insecurities stem out of that very place and moment. In, moment in life. Yeah. Um, that are still so residual even today. It, it was just like really powerful to like face her in the mirror and extend love, and unconditional love and acceptance to her and yeah, embrace her. Yeah, yeah. And then I did. I definitely had a um, moment with like asking for forgiveness from and like the main person in my the only person in my mind was my ex husband and just going through all of the things that I felt like I needed to say and like his forgiveness to me was like Huge. one of the most powerful moments during the session. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It cool. almost makes me want to do it in real life. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be worth yeah, it. Yeah. It might be worth it. Especially if you, there was no hard feelings. Right. It's just a matter of that closure yeah. on a conscious level. Right. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.